Welcome to the G3 Pulse podcast. We're here today to talk to aristocrats John Hanlon about the coming together of two of aristocrats' most successful inventions, the Buffalo slot brand and the hold and spin game mechanic. These have come together in the launch of aristocrats' most highly anticipated game of 2021, Buffalo Link. John, let's start with the brand, if we may. The first Buffalo slot game was launched in 2008, 13 years later, and all manner of Buffalo slot sequels have been launched. Casinos such as Rampart, Boomtown and Silverton have installed dedicated Buffalo slot lounges. So what is it that's given the game such longevity and made it so popular? Well, thank you for having me. And, and, and that's a great question. The Buffalo uh, brand is, is an all-American brand. And, it, and what um, I think is unique about the Buffalo brand is it was able to go out on the floor and, and it was not, you know, as we're launching this Buffalo Link product, we're big hoopla, press releases, all these amazing things that we're trying to do to drive awareness. The original Buffalo just went on the floor as a regular game and it was there and it sat there and it, and it performed okay out of the gate, but it really found an audience over time and, and people found that math and that, and that unlimited free games mechanic with the re-trigger of the, of the, of the two coins and, and all these beautiful symbols and the beautiful Buffalo sound. And like, it was a rich game, but it wasn't kind of heralded as what it ended up being. It was a, a I hate to say it, a happy accident that mm. this became the best brand in gaming. And, you know, customers found it, VIP players found it and found the math and trusted it. And over time, it's just become the most trusted math mechanic in the world, maybe next to Lightning Link. And um, people just know what they're going to get. It's volatile, sure, but they know their money is going to be well spent because there is return in that game, right? And and they understand that the bonus can be rough, but they it but can also be very very lucrative, right? So, the thing about Matt longevity in the slot world is really it's really around players trusting the game, and that's that's really the key. And people trust Buffalo more than any other brand in the world. Uh -huh. Could you add some color about the the Buffalo theme slot lounges? What do they look like? How do they how do they work? Well, and it's, an, it's a fantastic and it's amazing opportunity when a game's been that successful and we've had so many, you know, great iterations that you have enough content to fill a room, literally. Um, now we, you know, we started doing these with the, uh, with the Lightning Link product and we did Lightning Link lounges and we've done a lot of those and they've been very successful and natural progression is to move to our, our, our best uh, American brand. Uh, and you know, these are areas on the floor that a couple operators use them differently. Like some will use it as, you know, I, I have a far off place on the floor that I need to kind of draw some attention to and get people back to. And they'll use a Buffalo, uh, you know, zone or lounge. Or, it, you know, in the case of like a resorts world that's opening here soon, they're going to put a rate in the middle of the floor. They're going to put a rate dead center, kind of say, come get it. You know, this is the kind of campfire area in the middle of my floor where all my core slot players are going to come. And I think, you know, that we're, we're open to helping operators use it however they want. And, and for us, it's really just a culmination of, of all the hard work our studios have put into innovating this brand and elevating it and showcasing it all in one spot. Because you in a lot of these zones, you could play original Buffalo all the way up to Buffalo Diamond and now Buffalo Link. And you could actually see the progression of the wow. game okay. through, those, through those games. And, it, and it's really amazing to see. And it's amazing to see customers find new Buffalo games that they might not even have seen you know um so it's a really really cool experience to go through we have a bunch in production now and we're we're hoping to bring on some more partners soon but um you know it's just it's an amazing thing to be at the center of a of a of a billion dollar brand like this it's it, and that's what it is it's an amazing brand yeah. yeah several competitors have tried to copy the the bison theme but haven't come close so what is it about the maths behind the slot that sets it apart? And how has this changed from the original MAV 500 box through to the launch of Buffalo Link, the, the latest one on the, the Mars X portrait cabinet? Yeah, I mean, uh, completely different. That is, that's a hard question. But the, the, the interesting part is we've actually cloned it a couple of times ourselves unsuccessfully, right? right. Uh, it, it's, you know, 
I, I understand some of the competitors have put some, you know, bison based themes out there and that that's hard to do. I, I would argue to kind of go that close to something that's so, you know, iconic and known. Um, but, you know, I, I say it's, it's really a combination of all the things. The math is the most important thing by a mile. Um, but there is, there is the aesthetics and the sound that actually, add to that trust that I was talking about, right? You know, the math is the most important thing, but when you hear that Buffalo sounds, when the Buffaloes pay, and when you hear, you know, the different symbols and you know what um, that, that theme song that's running through it, that adds to that trust factor. So I think kind of cloning it, while the math will be good, and, and let me be honest, all the clones we've ever done of that math model have been successful, just not as successful as, as, as Buffalo. Um, that's really what drives that, you know, it's the, it's the full recipe, Like you can't take two or three things out of the recipe and still get the same results. Right. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing how it's been able to grow and, and change and evolve over time, but still stay absolutely true to what people know and love and trust. Mm -hmm. So once this latest game, Buffalo link takes the game oh, yeah. mechanics of lightning link and dragon link games. And adds it to what is undoubtedly one of North America's most recognized slot brands, Buffalo. How excited are you to combine these two highly successful components? I can't really describe how excited I am to get this product out. It's it's at least five, maybe well, at least four years into making this product. Um, Lightning Link is a game just like Buffalo that changed the industry. Yeah, I, I mean it's it's maybe the greatest gaming ops game ever released or right there with wheel of fortune um and to combine these two is is a natural progression it's an inevitability if you want to say that mm -hmm. um but it takes time to do it right and scott olive who is you know a clear genius and uh, and his his amazing studio at hrg studios have really taken the time to get the 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 recipe right um to balance the, the dragon link in it and the the buffalo in it and really figure out all right what how much do i need in the bet structure to to feed both of those bonuses how do i integrate them so that a lightning link player doesn't feel like they've we've pulled things out of the holding spin and the buffalo player doesn't feel like we pulled things out of that amazing free games bonus um and you know so you can again i don't know harping on it, but you can have that trust factor right so a buffalo player can sit down and and see new exciting things that they wouldn't see in any other Buffalo game, like a, a wild on the fifth reel. No one's ever done that with a Buffalo game. And he's put that in there. And it's, I'm sure a Buffalo player is going to see that fifth reel wild go by and just kind of lose it a little bit. Like, Holy crap, this game's different. <laughs> um, but then a lightning link player is going to sit down and who's used to playing lines and is going to play, you know, a real power game with a, you know, with eight to the hold spin. And it's going to be a little different for them too. Right. So it adds it adds it's just such a good evolution of both games yeah. um you know and it makes it makes me feel excited that you know there's so much more to find with buffalo right i don't you know <laughs> sometimes you get accused of saturation but i think we're just satisfying what our what customers want and they they, they have shown us uh, through you know their play that they're not done with buffalo in any capacity so we're happy to keep like finding new and creative and fun ways to give them good experiences on that game. Mm -hmm. Would this have been your, your big launch at G2E? That we just yeah, well, we showed it in the back room at 19 and this would have, okay. it would have actually, if, if well, there's a lot of what ifs, I guess if there wasn't a pandemic, it would already have been out by now. Um, it, but, you know, yes, it would have been. And I think one of the things that we had the ability Ability to do thankfully you know in that in that g2e time frame was do uh what we call these virtual upfronts so we we had similar to what we're doing right now we had a uh we had a session where we had um all of our customers kind of look in on our showroom and we walked them through our games and we walked them through our strategy similar to what we would do at a g2e or, or you know, a meeting before g2e and we showcased buffalo link in, in a big way on that program and the response was just 
amends. I mean, the amount of emails and uh, emails our salesman got immediately, like, how do I get this? Where, where can I bring my truck to your showroom and pick it up? Like, mm -hmm. you know, those kind of things. That means when you, when you hear those, you know, you got something right, you know, <laughs> something's good. And then, you know, we recently launched it to sales uh, here in March and it's been the fastest growing game in our funnel ever. Oh, wow. So we've never seen these many orders this quickly. So, you how, know, we're taking our time. Sorry, how's the rollout oh, roll like, in terms of markets? Rollout in, in terms of what? I'm sorry, go ahead. In terms of markets, in terms of um, stakes that you've gone into so far? Or... Well, we're going to start installing here uh, next month um, because we had such an overwhelming response that we want to do this right. So we've already told our customers when it's coming, and um, we plan to install games in almost every state within uh, the first month of May and June. I mean, every state that has gaming, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and we're, the idea here is really, we're not, we're not trying to do, everybody wants this game, <laughs> I hate to say it, but that's what the, the case is. So we're trying to drive this out to the market quickly and in mass, right? A lot of times you'll, you'll install one here, you install one there, you just kind of let it, let's see how it goes. Or in a case of a big launch, maybe it just rolls out a little slower. We're not trying to do that here. We're gonna we're gonna bring it out in the in one big fell swoop here and make sure everyone who wants to play this game and every operator who ha wants it is gonna get it as soon as they can get it. So we're kind of getting our all the cabinets together, all the signs together, and we're gonna be going large in May. John, that sounds great. Thanks very much for for speaking to us today about Buffalo Link. Um, you got it. Best of luck with the rollout. Hey, Phil, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it and uh, have a great day. Great. Thank you.